Carly Clarence was born in the Philippines. Uh, they were born, born in Manila and they were conjoined at the head. Uh, actually, they were born on April 21, 2002. And we came here April 10, 2003. But not only were they joined at the head, they were joined at, at the brain and had lived the first several months of their lives in that way. The options that were routinely available at the time required sacrificing the one twin to save the other. And our people believe that they could successfully separate both boys and have two live babies who could go on to lead independent lives. You have to make a decision not only based from your brain or something, also based from your feeling. I met several doctors in the Philippines and one of the doctors already told me that I have to choose which one, uh, you know, to give up and which one is to let them survive or something. So I said to the doctor, no, you cannot do that. As a mother, you cannot do that. It took a team of people, of, of scores of people, led by doctors Goodrich and Staffenberg and Marion, and also took several months in a carefully staged series of operations to successfully separate those two boys. After more than a year of planning and four stage surgeries in nine months, doctors Goodrich and Staffenberg and their team of 14 will soon begin the final and most risky stage of the separation. August 4, 2004, and they were separated. So now I have two separate boys, which have a different personality, of course. It's a lot of work, but I'm really happy and grateful that they were separated. It's such a thrill to see them at home playing video games and you know, running around and creating mayhem, you know, as, as most young boys should do. They still need intensive medical care. I mean, they just celebrated their birthday a few months ago and it was a wonderful party. And uh, it's really one of those uplifting miracles and testament to the expertise that one institution can generate uh, that those boys are still here.